Hey there, my creative stampers. How are you? I am so late. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm trying to get all my cameras fixed up here. Okay. Oh gosh. It's my overhead camera I don't have on yet. There we go. And add it to the stream. Okay, that looks crazy. Let's get this zoomed in. <laughs> Yay, there we go. Oh my goodness, as you can see, we're going to be doing Paper Pumpkin tonight. It is the last Monday of the month, and so... Uh, I like to go through the paper pumpkin and show you all how to put it together. But there's one thing I want to say before we get started, and that is if you're not familiar with, maybe you're familiar with paper pumpkin, but you're not familiar with our two, two different options of paying for paper pumpkin. You can subscribe where it will take the money out of your account every month and automatically send you that month's paper pumpkin. And you can stop that anytime. You can put it on pause if you don't want that next month's and then back and forth. However, there is another way to do paper pumpkin and that is a prepay. And how this works, and the reason why I'm bringing it up to you is because if you do a three month prepay, you get to choose a free celebration. Subscribers don't get that option because there's theirs is just the monthly um $22 every month, where if you do the prepay, you're paying over uh, the $50. And so you get to choose the uh, celebration item. So I just wanted you to be aware of that. And if you need more information, you can either email me, Christina at creatingwithchristina.com, or you can go to the shop and then over on the menu bar, um, you go to the left side and you find kits and the paper pumpkin kits, not our kit collection, but our paper pumpkin. And when you click on that, it sh tells you the two different ways to order paper pumpkin. You can subscribe and do a monthly or you can do prepay. OK, that's enough of that. Let's get on with it. Now, another thing before we get started is that is I got a card in the mail from Bonnie and I just wanted to show off her beautiful work. Look at this beautiful dra black blah, 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 dragonfly. And she did a vellum uh, wing and a white wing and um, she did some stamping. Oh, my gosh, it's so pretty. And then she put a nice little message inside. So thank you so much, Bonnie. I sure appreciate that. All right. Now. Paper pumpkin this month, of course, is Valentine's. And it's called, um, what is it called? Key to my heart. Key to my heart. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Who do we have in the house today? Oh, wow. We have Tony and Claudia and Marilyn and Alda. Um, Rita, Dorothy. Hey, Dorothy. How are you, girl? Chris and Renee. Love it. Thank you all so much for showing up tonight. All right, so whenever you get a paper pumpkin in the mail, it's a box and it has everything in it that you will need to create that month's kit. And it always comes, let me put this on a white background so you can see it, but it always comes with an exclusive stamp set. So this one has, it's kind of hard to read it. Oh, there we go. This one has to my Valentine, I love you. Love is the key and you hold the key to my heart. And then it's got a little heart with a key lock. Um, a scroll, some hearts, and a little key. So really cute stamp set that you can use forever after you finish this kit. The other thing it always comes with is a stamp ink pad. And this is what we call a stampin' spot, <laughs> a spot. Um, and it's the Fresh Freesia color, one of our ink colors. It always comes with some kind of uh, embellishment. And this month it is a uh, Calypso Coral twine or, um, yeah, kind of a thread. It always comes with adhesive. So these are your Stampin' Dimensionals here. And then it usually has either dots or tear tape or something. Let me see what we got in here. Hmm. Oh, there they are. Uh, glue dots. And I have a huge pile of glue dots because I tend to use my tape runner uh, for most of it. But if you don't have a tape runner, it does come with glue dots. It always comes with the envelopes if it's doing cards. And we do have cards this month. Oh, and I love it when they do the inside of the envelope. 
because you can open this up and use this as designer paper. And I love those pretty, that pretty fresh freezer with the keys on it. And then just go get your other, because it's just a plain white envelope. So I can just use my regular plain white envelopes and open these up and use the paper to create something else. Love that. Okay, so I'm going to put those to the side. Don't need them for the project. Then it's got my card bases. And this card base I see has a uh, cutout. I don't no. Oh, and it's got some water uh, color. I love that. Anyways, this thing looks like it punches out. I'm not going to do that yet till I get to the instructions. All right. So we've got three of those. Oh, and then we have this beautiful fresh freesia with this gold. Oh, love that. And then the, um, hold on. Don't tell me. It'll come to me. Pale papaya. <laughs> Pale papaya. It's so hard to keep over 50 color names in your head, but um, yeah. Okay, so those are the card bases. Then it has some vellum pieces that are laser cut. You just punch those out. It's got some cute locks. It's got Mango Melody, Calypso Coral, Gold, Fresh Freesia. Love that. That's three sheets of that. Then it's got uh, labels, tags. So it's got all that for you. Big labels. Okay, big things. Love it. Um, a cardboard insert cert to keep it all nice. Am I too close? So let's get out a little bit. There we go. And then the instructions. So also this month, um, they have boxes, these heart-shaped candy boxes. And it's it's only about this big, and it can hold like two little nuggets in it. But um, it, they're really cute put together. But you order those separate on the shop. So you go to the paper pumpkin, and then in the shop, you put it, or just go up into the search engine and look for the heart boxes and it'll take you right to it. Um, speaking of add-on, so next month, the the one that we're um, signing up for right now, this key to my heart is no longer available. Um, unless they're leftovers, then they'll be in the shop. But this one that we're signing up for now is the Sunshine and Smiles. It coordinates with the cute little bunny and fox and turtle suite that we have. Um, but it also, I don't know if you see it, it's got little dies to cut out the clouds and the umbrella, the flowers, the frog. Um, so the add-on is little dies that you can buy separate. All right, so that is that. So here is your instructions. Hey, Claudia and Joyce, Angela, Mallory, Marie, Joyce, love it. Okay, um, when you get your instructions, and I always say this every month, there's no written words. It's all pictures. And sometimes the pictures are kind of hard to understand. And that's why I like to uh, put these together with you. Um, Stampin' Up! does a video that you can, there's a QR code on here somewhere for the video. There it is. Um, you can watch the video, but it is fast forward and just with music in the background. So I walk you through step by step how to put these three cards together. Um, and so that's what we're going to do tonight. So I'm real excited about this. So um, the first page is this one where it says one, two, and three right here. This tells me what each card needs to complete the, the project. So we're going to start with card number one. And I need the uh, pale papaya card base. I need this big fresh freesia um, piece. And like I said, these are laser cut, so they're so easy. They just pop right out. So awesome. Then we need a label and we need the one with the, um, I call those flag tails, but I think people call them dovetails also. Uh, so we need one of those. Uh, we need the vellum. All right, we need the long one. There's the vellum. Um, we need the twine. So we got the twine. We need the three locks. Where were those? Here they are. We need the three locks. So one, two. Oh, and this one has this one to punch out. So one, two. Yep, this one does two. There we go. Punch that out. And three. Awesome. All right, so we got all that. Then the next thing it tells us we need. Get off there. Um, we need two stamps. We need, I know y'all cannot see that, can you? I'm so sorry. Here we go. Y'all need, whoops, this way. Uh, to my Valentine and the little hearts. So those are the two stamps we need. Now, your very first paper pumpkin will come with your acrylic block. Um, it looks like this. It's the size D block, um, which is a very good universal size for most of our stamps. Um, but if you do 
have the smaller blocks, they're helpful because some of the um, the stamps are really tiny. Like, look at this this keyhole. I mean, that's only the size of my fingertip. That would like be huge on this big block. So um, it's helpful to have these littler blocks for little stamps like that. Okay, but we don't need little stamps. We need big stamps. So we have the hearts. Okay, and it said we need Valentine to my Valentine. There we go. That's the one we need. Whoops, that block's not going to be big enough. I have all kinds of blocks down there. <laughs> I have a whole drawer full of blocks. <laughs> so fun. All right, make sure. Remember, one more thing is if you have a question or you need to catch my attention, um, put a big Q, a big question mark. Um, I like to scroll through the comments and um, make sure I haven't missed any questions. Oh, and Claudia said she just signed up for Paper Pumpkin. Well, you are going to love it, Claudia. And Kay says she's late. You're not late, Kay. I just started. Um, oh, the alert didn't come on. Well, darn it. Um, you know, you can never trust, trust Facebook or YouTube. Sometimes they just have a mind of their own. All right. Now we've got, so I'm going to put all this. for. So this is all card number one. Okay. And I'm going to put all that over there. I'm going to just put her there. And I'm going to go on to card number two now. Card number two, I need the Fresh Freesia card base. All right. So that's this one. Whoops. There we go. Fresh Freesia. And it needs the vellum circle. Ooh, that's a big circle. And it needs the heart lock and the orange lock. All right, so the heart lock and the orange lock. Take that out and then this one out. And then it needs um, the twine. Uh, oh, it needs the gold key also. All right, so let's get the gold key out. There we go. Love that. All right, got that, that. Love is the key is the stamp we need. So love is the key. Let me find that stamp. Like I said, I have a bunch of blocks. Oh, let's not be so close. Okay. And there it is. Love is the key. And the hearts, which I have over here. Okay. All right. So we've got every, oh no, whoops, almost missed this one. Um, this tag right here. All right. Double check. Got the card base, the two locks, the key, twine, vellum, tag, stamps. Got it. Okay. So we've got everything for card number two. And now for card number three. So card number three has that key punch hole thing. All right. And it needs this third tag that's got little, it's like, it's got something underneath it right there. Not sure what that is, but that's okay. Um, it needs a gold key. Okay. And now let's scrap. What else do we need? Oh, okay. Is this vellum? Let's see. Yep, it's vellum. Okay. So this piece of vellum, need that one. Uh, the key, the tag, the card. The vellum. Oh, you hold the key to my heart is the stamp I need. So you hold the key to my heart. That's this one. All right. Now we've got everything set up. We are ready to play. All right, let's get all this other stuff out of the way. Okay. Just put this in the box. Put this in the box. All this in the box. Yeah, so it's helpful to get everything set up first. Once you've got everything set up and you've got... Now, if you don't have extra blocks for your stamps, no biggie. You just would use whatever block you have on whatever card you're using. But since I've got blocks, I've got all that set up. And whoops. There we go. That goes there. This goes here. And then my instructions. Now, my instructions start... Here's number one's instructions. Here's number two. And here's number three. Um, I have my cards stacked backwards. So I'm going to quickly restack these. That's card three. That's card two. <laughs> and here's card one. That way I'm going in the order of the instructions. All right. So we've got that set up. 
got the twine. I'm going to move it to the instructions here. And now I want you to be able to see the instructions, but I also want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So I am um, zoomed in kind of close, but um, I will be zooming in and out. So you can see I've just got to keep an eye on the monitor um, so it all works out. Okay. How we doing? How we doing? We got Patricia with us and Kimberly and card crazed. I love it. Card crazed. Here we go. Joyce has a question. Does Stampin' Up! restock out of stock stamp bundles? Oh, yes, they do, Joyce. They sure do. The stamps and the dies are made here in the United States, so they don't have any problem uh, restocking those. The problem we have is with our designer paper and some of our bling and ribbon. We get that from a lot of that from China, not all of it, but most of it. And so if China doesn't have it, then we can't get it. So that's, that's the only thing that could really run out. But stamps and dies... Uh, punches, those those they restock. So good question. Thank you. Hello, Colleen. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So let's get started. First step, number one, it shows you the ink pad here. It shows you the two stamps. It wants you to stamp the hearts in the two corners of the purple piece of the uh, fresh freesia piece and then the sentiment on the tag. So let's do that. We've got this piece and this piece. And another thing I want to do is get a foam pad. Now, it does not come with a foam pad, but the reason I get a foam pad out is because these are photopolymer stamps. Photopolymer stamps do not have any cushion. It's just a hard plastic on a hard block. And then if you're stamping on a hard surface, if there's any scratch or bump, even the littlest, uh, will cause the ink not to stamp well um, it, if you have an uneven surface. So a, a foam pad will give you that cushion so that the stamp gets all the way on the paper. Um, just a little hint there for you all. All right, it says we need the Fresh Freesia ink. And so I'm going to open my ink pad here. And I just use the tip of my scissors to get that if I can. A little shaky. All right, and then get this one. Perfect. And come on. You can do it. Yay. Okay. So we're going to ink up our little hearts here. Make sure it's good and juicy. All right. And we're just going to stamp those right there. Okay. Love it. Love it. And do it again. And this time I'm going to go up here. All right. So I have my hearts on my fresh freesia done there. Now I need my sentiment. And this one is to my Valentine. Nope, oh, that's love is the key. There it is to my Valentine. And y'all can't see very well. Maybe I do need to back up. Okay. Sometimes I take the ink spot and ink the stamp. And sometimes I use the stamp and I put it on the ink spot. There we go. Did I get it straight? Oh, yay. <laughs> All right. Cover my ink pad because I don't want it to dry out. Put it over there. Oh, and another thing, our little ink spots. So you can get, whoa, let me grab, um, grab this little thing. Here you go. This is an ink refiller. And so you can just take be sure you use the right color. Uh, this is not fresh freesia, but if it were fresh freesia, I could just get it and ink it all back up again. So that's another great thing about having the paper pumpkin every month is you get a nice collection of little tiny ink pads that are great. <clears throat> okay, now we've got everything stamped. What is our next step? Our next step tells us to put adhesive little glue dots on the back of this piece. And two little glue dots in the middle of this piece. No, I'm sorry. That's not that piece. That's the vellum. Two little pieces on the vellum. We want 15 inches of the string. And we're going to put it on the vellum. So that, and then I see that you're going to put the, the, the locks and the sentiment up on dimensionals. And you're going to want that uh, twine to stick out from behind the, to my Valentine part right there. Okay. Okay. So let's do what they say. 
The first thing is this piece. Now, this is what I'm saying. You can use the glue dots, but they take a long time if you're doing all the cards. So when it's something this big, I just get out my tape runner. And I'm like, I'm not going to mess with little glue dots for this. Okay. And we need our card base. Get all that over. Move over. Okay. And is this landscape? Yes, it is. It's landscape. Oops, let's make sure our hearts are right side. And we just put this right in the middle. All right. That was pretty easy. Next, the vellum. Now, the vellum uh, is going to be covered up by this. So I'm not worried about getting adhesive on the back. You won't, you won't see it. So I'm just going to put some vellum on there. And this vellum kind of overlaps. Whoops, it goes... Oh, no, it goes the other way. Shoot, it goes this way. Well, that's okay because um, I'm going to be putting this on top of it, so that doesn't matter. But the problem is I can't. Oh, yeah, I can. There we go. It's stuck to my board, but my board doesn't hold adhesive. There we go. Now it'll be this direction, and it just goes right. Yep, that's correct just like that. There we go. Even though the adhesive is still there, like I said, that's okay because this is going to go on top of it. Actually, that's good because I'm going to be putting my twine on there anyway. So let's do that. So it actually came, worked out in my favor that way at <laughs> that time. Hello, Pam, my stampin' friend. How are you? And hi, Tony. Dorothy has a question. It says the country bouquet bundle is apparently out of stock now. Have you heard anything about it? Yes, I have, Dorothy. It's not the bundle. I mean, the bundle is not available because it's the punch that's not available right now. Um, you're on. You're a demonstrator, so if you go to ordering, and then in the ordering drop-down menu, there's one that's called inventory status, and you can see what date the the punch is going to come back. But the stamp is available. It's just the punch that's not. So they can't offer the bundle right now. So there you go. Yeah. And uh, the shamrock punch is out. And so is the, oh, the dies. Someone asked me about the dainty dies. They're out also. Gosh, there's lots of stuff out. They're coming back. They just not available right now. They're so popular. Everybody wanted them. All right. And I'm just kind of looping this around, not really being specific. I didn't even measure 15 inches out. I'm just, just getting it on there. Okay. That works. Okay. I like it. Maybe my snips. Oh, another thing you will need is your own scissors. They don't give you scissors, so you'll need scissors. Okay. There you go. Got that. Got that. Okay. So, so far we have done this this much. Now we're heading to this. Now I need my dimensionals. And you can tell when it's a dimensional versus a glue dot. A glue dot is a black dot. A dimensional is a little hexagon. Okay. So let me grab my dimensionals and my three keys. And which way? We're going to do the square one, the heart one, and then the round one. And we're going to put two here. And I like putting my adhesive right where they put it because usually... Um, they know, uh, that it'll be a problem if you get the adhesive somewhere else. For instance, these are kind of overlapping each other. So they need to have room, you need to have room for them to tuck inside each other. So if you put the dimensional on the edge, the other one couldn't tuck under it. Um, so like I said, I just put it where it tells me to. And then this one gets two of them right there. All right. Now I got all my dimensionals on my locks. Pull these out. Okay. And it looks like, so the gold heart lock is going to go on top. Let me show you what I'm doing here. So you all can see, and I'm going to zoom in so you really can see what I'm talking about. All right. Do you see how the corn, the tip of the heart is underneath the to my Valentine? So I know that's the last thing that's going to go on. Uh, these two locks are underneath the heart. So I want to put them on first, but I want to make sure I don't put them too far apart that the heart doesn't land on top of them. So who all those things to think about while you're <laughs> putting your kit together, putting your card together. So let me uh, take the backs off of these. And here. And here. It looks like my twine is off to the side. I want to probably correct that. 
make it more in the center. Okay, those are all off. So I need my square and my circle. Okay, pull that down for a minute. And they're kind of tilted outward. All right, and so they're kind of right there. That looks good. Okay, <laughs> it's good enough for me. Um, oh, and see what I did? I didn't, those dimensionals are not going to fit between there, but that's okay. It'll still work out. All right, and this does come down a little bit. All right. Perfect. Love it. All right. This is what I was saying. This needs to be over a little bit more. And since I just stuck it in the adhesive like that, I can just move it over. There we go. <laughs> just, I'm a mess. There we go. Now, last but not least, here we go. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're not going to see it. Okay. No biggie. I'm going to put it up there. Get out of my way. I'm going to twist it a little bit. All right, that looks good. And that is just going to go right there. Okay. Ta-da! We finished card number one. That's so fun. I love that. That's so pretty. I mean, I don't even have to do an alternative. This card is good just the way it is. I love it. All right, let's go to card number two. Any more questions? Nope, I'm not seeing anybody, but I see Susan from Australia. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay, number two. Number two. All right, once again, we have our instructions. And the first step is to ink up love is the key. And we're going to stamp that on the little tag. And then these hearts we're going to put on the card front in, uh, uh, there. Then notice we have two glue dots here. And then they show you where they landed right there because notice where the locks are. Remember what I said? You want your uh, adhesive on the back of vellum not to show. You want to always be sure you put the adhesive to vellum behind something. And so your, your two locks are over here. They're not over here. All right. So you want to make sure your adhesive is just right here for the circle. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the inking. I'm going to pull that out of the way for a minute and get my card base. I'm here. Do, 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 do. And this is a landscape card. All right. So it goes like this. And this one. Okay. So we need that and we need that. And we need our ink spot. And this one is love is the key. Is that correct? Yeah. That's it. Do, 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 do. Come down here. There we go. Oh, nope, not finished yet. Need the hearts. There they are. <laughs> and we want some here. And we want some, yeah, about right there. Okay. Can't really see them that well, but yeah, I guess you can. I can see them really well in the video. I can't see them very well under my lamp. Okay. Let's put this back, turn it over. Okay, that out of the way. We got that, we got that. Now, this is what I'm telling you. We're going to put adhesive on the circle and we want the adhesive over here because that's where the two locks are going to go. So when I turn my circle over, I want my adhesive over here. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little strip of it right there. Okay. And then I, uh, looks like this is just centered. It's a little closer to the top than the bottom. So it's kind of up here. Well, that covers up all the hearts. Oh, well, it's supposed to. <laughs> okay. That's all right. That's where it's supposed to be. Okay. Good. And you see the hearts through it. That's kind of cool. Oh, what's next? Okay. Next is putting the dimensionals on the back of the two locks and the sentiment. So let's do that, the two locks and the sentiment and dimensionals, whoops, okay, and they want these just kind of in the middle and then these in the middle and there we go, get on there, perfect, all right. 
Hello, Melanie. How are you? And uh, hold on, let me get the other one, the other dimensionals off. Make sure I put this on correctly. So this one is going to go kind of like that. Yeah. And then this one is going to go kind of like that. All right. So far, so good. And I'm just, like I said, I'm just following the picture. Next thing is the sentiment. And this is down closer to the bottom. Oh, turn it around. And it does overlap the circle right there. But just about half, half of the tag here lands where the circle is. Okay, so right there. Perfect. What's our next thing? Our next thing is, all right, we're going to put glue dots on the key. Now, I probably will use the glue dots for this because the key is kind of small and I won't get my tape runner in there. And then a six inch piece of, of twine, I'm going to tie in a knot. All right, so let me get my key. All right, and my glue dots. And then the glue dots I found are easier to do with tweezers. So if you want, always want a good pair of crafting tweezers. All right. And I need a glue dot right here. And I need a glue dot right here. There we go. And then just take that off. And that off. Come on, get there. And this goes, okay, it looks like it's going to get tied to the, the heart lock. And this key comes down so it's kind of touching the love my love's not that far away okay now i've got that last but not least i'll want another glue dot because i'm going to be tying a bow and just sticking it on there and the best way to adhere bows is okay do they have that on the lock on the key they don't really say it's just kind of in there all right well that's good enough and Take that off. Of now, where's my twine? Um, I don't measure out my twine when I'm making uh, bows. I just take it, take the loose tail going to my left. I make a loop. Then I take this right hand and I wrap it and I come up through here, just like shoestring, just like tying your shoes, your tennis shoes. Okay. That's all there is to it. And then I hold the loops while I pull the tails so it's a little smaller. Okay, is that a good size? Yeah, that's a good size. All right. And trim that. Now I do waste a wee bit right here, but that's not going to hurt anything. Oh, my scissors aren't cutting very well. And then I just place that knot right where my glue dot is. Now I have a pair of tweezers that have a nice flat back that I can press that down into the glue dot but we are done with card number two. Oh, it's so pretty it's so pretty and we are to our last card you guys ready oh my gosh so excited i love this one this is this is so cool all right so pull all that off of there this is gonna pop out i know i'm going ahead of the directions but i'm so excited i can't wait to show you all this look at that that watercolor splash isn't that fun? All right, let me get back to the instructions so I make sure I do this correctly. Question number three. Here we go. First thing is to stamp our sentiment on our tag. Our tag gets dimensionals and the vellum gets the dots. And it looks like our tag is going to go on top of our vellum. All right, so let's let's get that. We got the tag here. Move this out of the way. And the vellum. Don't want to lose that. Make sure we're all flat here and I need my sentiment and my sentiment is you hold the key to my heart. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's turn that around. Yep. Oh, it twisted. Darn it. Oh, well, that's okay. And... Now we need this. And this and this. So it said dimensionals on the back of this. OK. 
Okay, and then glue dots on the back of this, but I'm just going to use my tape runner. Oh, out of tape. Do I have another one? Oh, no. Well, okay, I'm using an old tape runner. This is a kind we used to sell, <laughs> the Tombow. Still a good tape runner. All right, there we go. Bring our card back in. We want this a little closer to the bottom than the top, uh, to the key, to the bottom of the keyhole right there. So a little more there than there. Doesn't really tell you, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, and then we've got the dimensionals on the back of this. Whoops, I'm out of the way. And, and I noticed my email is still up there. <laughs> Yep, you all can email me anytime if you got questions. Um, all right, last but not least, we're going to take the key, we're going to put some glue dots on the back, and we're going to tie a bow on it, and that's all there is. Wow, this has been really fun. I'm going to enjoy making the rest of these, so I need glue dots. Oh, come here. <laughs> My tweezers. And these tweezers, um, I do have a must-have tools on my blog um, that have links to Amazon links. So if you don't have a nice, sharp pair of good tweezers, um, you can find them on Amazon. And I have a link there on my shop to help you get there easier. Um, it is an affiliate link. So if you do uh, use that link, um, I do get a small commission. Believe me, it's small. <laughs> but... Um, but it does help pay for my blog and pay for my email uh, servers because, you know, nothing's free in this world. <laughs> All right, let's do another bow. So let, one more time, this is how I do it. I, I make sure the tail is running to the left. I make a loop and just like I'm tying my shoe, my sh tennis shoe. Whoops, of course, if I could. Hold on, let me start over. It slipped away from me. There we go. Yeah. And you just pull the two uh, loops. And then to shorten this tail, you want to hold the loop and pull it. If you just pull it, it'll come untied. It'll also twist uh, the loops if you just pull it. So you want to hold those loops while you're pulling the tail shorter. And we're going to cut that off and cut that off. We need another glue dot. And they just have it right kind of right there. and get off the foam and then I just take the back of my tweezers and I just squish it in there and we're done so we did three cards in 37 minutes well you know <laughs> no one said card making was fast but it sure is fun <laughs> oh my gosh so remember paper pumpkin there's two ways to do it you can purchase three prepaid well actually in purpose purchase just one, but one won't get you a celebration item because one is just $22. But then your next option is to purchase three prepay. So it has one, three, six, and 12 month prepay. Um, but if you do the three month prepay, you'll get a free celebration item. And then, uh, and to find the, and it's just a, um, oh, there's an item number, but you'll see it. Um, there when you go to the shop and you just put in paper pumpkin, it'll take you there. And you just put that number in your order. Like you're ordering a stamp, that little item number, you just put the item number for the three prepay. For subscription, you actually sign up for the subscription, give them your credit card number, all that information. And then they bill you once a month and send you a kit every month without you having to worry about it. It just automatically comes. And most people do it that way to save from the headache of remembering. But um, if you just want to take advantage of the three prepay, um, you have that option. Okay. Oh, thank you again to um, Bonnie for this beautiful card she sent me. Thank you. Thank you. And I will be back on Wednesday for the card challenge. I hope all of you are participating in that. Um, you can find the card challenge. 
everybody always asks, where's the card challenge? Where's the card challenge? Where's the card challenge? I can't even find it. Here it is. You can join the card challenge at facebook.com forward slash creating with Christina. And every Wednesday morning, I do a uh, card challenge and I draw a random name of anybody who posted a picture of their card and I send them a gift. So that's fun. And then I have fun fold Friday on Fridays. I love you guys. Thank you again so much. Let me double check and make sure I haven't missed any questions. Um, let's see. I've got Kay ready for the next card challenge. Woohoo! Claudia, Renee. Awesome. Oh yeah. If you buy the year right now, you get lots of benefits. Yeah. If you bought 12 prepay, whoo, you get all kinds of celebration items. Okay. Um, I don't see any other questions. All right. You guys are the best. I love you. Y'all are the key to my heart. <laughs> Bye-bye.